Hi and welcome back to the channel. Right, we're going to do a bit of editing on the hex file. Well, as you uh, realise on uh, episode 14, I've already done some. Uh, what I did, if I can... Yes, excuse me, I'm using two screens here. These are the files that came with it. Well, I have just done a complete copy of this one. Alright, that like copy, I'm going to open in the, this program, this Kill Uvision 3, which also comes on the uh, actual download. Right, most of the information is in, in picture, and here's all the information these this first lot here are your pictures uh, I have put some text myself as you can see here put side scrolling now uh, just to let me know what what I'm doing uh, right, as you can see what I've done is uh, so I don't have to edit any code I'm actually keeping the same amount of lines, so I'm just replacing really. So, where I've had Chinese before, I'm just putting this here, which is a uh, blank space. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, it says Q. And then there's some more blank spaces, then Kev's Electrical Workshop, which you saw it was sort of rotating around the, uh, on the top face, and that was fine. Uh, I did the same on the, the side face, but if you remember, it was back to front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually find out where that is. That might be been that's top face text. Okay, that's the one we wanted. We wanted the side face text, didn't we? Uh, side scroll. Right. That's the side scroll. This is this is the section that's back to front. I actually put it in there the right way around, but because of the way it's created, it comes out back to front. So I'm going to minimise that. Right to do your text, where use this program here, which is also on the download. Right, let's just open it up. Uh, that one won't open because that's one I was trying to change into English. So. Right, okay, we've got that open. Let's move that into play. And you can do file, that would be new. It's new, open, save, uh, obviously quit. Uh, so I'm going to say new. And I think it's however wide, so let's just do 512 and how many up did I want? Uh, 16, I think, 16 high. Okay, yes. Okay, that gives us our grid. Right now, you want to go to, is it that one? Yeah, that's, on, that's looking for graphics. That's looking for words. All right, okay, so. And you should be able to type things in. Let's do far new while it's on words. Da -da -da. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, let's just do words. And now what did I want? I wanted. I put a, I actually put a comma there. Right, here's your words. Uh, what I will say is this type of text that come out very small. So you want to pick a text. I can't remember what I picked last time. I just clicked on one of these and just arrowed down. Uh, you want to try and use as much of the height as possible. So yeah, I probably used something like that. Uh, that may be better. 
Okay. There we go. Q. Uh, we have space. Spaces are useful because uh, we'll use those to blank things. Kev uh, electric cool. work shop. I don't know if it'll look better in all capitals or not. Right. Now this one. Uh, All right, we just take out those and just saves that, just setting that up. All right, the thing is, we wanted this all back to front or mirrored, so we really want it to come out like that from the side, and then this one will produce our. A hex. All right, now we've got this. We can just copy that. It's Thirty lines. Copy and open up the other one. All right. So I've got thirty lines of text. So it's not going to be. Need to count these, maybe. Uh, let's not worry. Curves, electrical work shop. Paste. Okay, now I've got that in there, and hopefully that's back to front. Did I actually put it in there? Yeah, it did. Good. Right now, it's got in there. All we need to do is hit the compile button and it will compile. Zero warnings. Now all I need to do is now upload that hex into the device and hopefully that will be the, the right way around. Hello. Okay right, testing time. How are we doing? Well we almost got it there. If I can lift this up without it biting me, we've got it right rotating around. It's still the words are right way around. Problem is they're in the wrong order, so it's um, back to the computer. Let's rehash that. Right, and we're back on the computer. Uh, we don't have to do this. The text is correct. Or should I say the characters are correct, so we don't actually need that one. What we need to do is is this one. So what's the easiest way we can do this? Let me just Cut that one out. Let's put that at the beginning. V. Right. Could do with out uh, any of these spaces. Actually, thinking about it, yeah, the easiest way is to just to write it backwards. You obviously, uh, where is it? Let's write it backwards. Let me write down on a piece of paper and let's write it backwards. All right. Space. Sorry about that, I've just run down on a piece of paper because I'm sure I won't be able to do it. Uh, I'm sure there was, was only one. No, there's no movement. I'm sure 
there was actually a, a command on here, but I can't find it in the moment, uh, which would actually automatically do it. What's that one do? No, save in text. What's that one do? Oops, no. I killed it. Okay, words. Let's write it backwards, shall we? P O H S K R O capital W L A C I R T C E L capital E. Is that right? I don't know if it's weird. <laughs> Space W dot dot K. I might actually put an extra space in there. Okay, let's convert that. And exactly the same as we did before. Let's hold on. Uh, that one. In the hex, thank you. Right, let's just copy. Right. And uh, based. Give that a go. I've lost a few lines. I think I had some blank lines that I've lost. Not to worry. Right, let's compile it. Right, let I'll put that in and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, right. We've now turned it around. It's still back to front. Sub to Japanese. I'll go to the I'm just trying to see what it is. Okay, right. I see what we need to do. Right, back to the design board again. Okay, right. It's going to be third time lucky now. Uh, all of this is trial and error. Uh, with any part of the code. So let me find. Okay. Actually, I'll tell you what happened. It wasn't trial and error. It was, uh, if you remember, before I actually changed the text, I needed to make it back to front, which I did, but it has reverted back. So as well as it being written back to front, it needs to be, dis oh, no, no, no. Displayed, mirrored, okay. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to add some spaces at the beginning. Right, okay, that looks good. Right, let's generate that lot. We've got 32 this time. Right. And right, I'm going to actually copy that. Uh, da, da, da. Where's my programming software? There it is. Right. I 
I'm going to paste that in. Seeing I've got 32, what, what I will do is I'm going to take out just two of these. Because I remember originally there was only 30 lines. Oh no, let's leave it in. Right, left in. Compiled. Right, I'll get that in and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, attempt number four is still the same. It's you can see the uh, so what uh, should I say? Attempt three still the same. Back to attempt four. Hopefully this time. Okay, attempt four, and oh uh, yeah, look. For some reason, it's reverted the characters the right way around. Right. right that's an that inverted. I really don't know if I actually pressed the button and copied that right. Okay, right, I'm going to copy that and blow it in. We're almost there. Copy. All right, see you in a minute. Oh, after a few more attempts, <coughs> finally got it. Don't know what I was doing wrong. Uh, text has got to be written backwards, and uh, text has got to be backwards, which is a combination I tried, but it didn't work. Maybe uh, didn't hit the program button or something. But as you see now, apart from the Japanese. Uh, There we go. We now have that. So we can get rid of all the other Japanese and fill that in with our own custom text. And it'll be good. Right. Right, okay, many thanks for watching. Hope it was informative anyway, uh, at least.